G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is an Institute Pulse Carbine. This is a weapon that is very derivative of the Covenant Carbine from the Halo game series thing. And the weapon is notable for when John Halo uses it to kill the Arbiter. That's what happens in the show, spoiler alert. Yeah, I've seen it already. I've read the script, I know what's going on, and you won't be disappointed by it. That's for sure. So what you're looking at here is just an Institute weapon, just made to give the Institute a little bit of a more of an advanced tech, a little bit more punch in the late game as compared to their standard Institute weapons, which are just laser guns that are inferior to the pre-war red shooting laser guns. So, yeah, that that's kind of stupid. I don't know why they chose to make the Institute stuff weaker than, you know, stuff that is at this point ancient, but... That's another topic for another day. So this gives them a bit of a more energy weapon. It's kind of like your plasma gun of the uh, Institute variety. And we're doing 57 and 54 ballistic and energy damage respectively on this. Giving this a quick little comparison to a plasma pistol though. The pre-war thing is more powerful. I mean it's par for the course here. But we're not going to get be getting amazing damage out of this thing. Now if I want to change that to a rifleman based thing just so... The uh, range isn't going to be massive to completely outrange this, so they're kind of basically the same now. So we're missing out on quite a lot of damage, but we are using the fusion cells, as you can see. They're loaded into the back. This thing does use vanilla plasma gun animations, which work for it quite well, and I won't complain about it because it's, uh, it's well made. The shape of the thing is kind of well made to uh, suit those animations quite well, so... I think that's kind of clever. We'll whack this all the way up to overcharge capacitor. And for the barrels, you'll see some similarities between this and the plasma gun. So you can have sniper barrels, splitter barrels, that's a shotgun, and the standard barrel just for shooting normally and having a less AP cost than the uh, sniper barrels. And the automatic barrels, which will give it a little bit more of an automatic firing, obviously, and also... Uh, make it slightly better in a bat stealth commando thing worth noting this thing does fire like blue plasma things so it's not going to be hit scan which is kind of uh well it's normal for plasma guns to not be like that but advanced automatic barrel we can actually get the same amount of damage as we could for this thing now if i were to chuck on a auto barrel of the improved variety there we're actually out damaging it with the automatic barrel so there you go we've actually found somewhere where this thing can be decent and we can change this to a comfort stock which tapes a tiny little pillow to the stock an imp improvised cheek pad which ta uh, tapes it to the top and a marksman which gives you that it's like a little bit of a proper cheek rest there this is probably the one i'd use because the ones with the uh pillow tape to it <clears throat> don't really fit the aesthetic of the futurism that has the rest of the weapon, although there's some tape around the grip though, which... Is that the same tape they use for the Gamma Gun? I think it is. Nice use of vanilla assets. And right now we've got standard sides, so we could chuck a reflex side on that. As you can tell, they're just Institute ones. I think there's some scopes here that are fully new meshes, including that one. The night vision scopes, they're the ones that look new. And you can have the giant microwaves on top, or toasters, whatever the name you want to give them. And it'll give you a recon variation with that. So we're going to leave this on a reflex site because this thing is automatic. And we'll create a couple more of these legendary effectors there if you need it. I am not sure I'll use them. Thank you. Let's go. Also worth mentioning, this thing will be on the level list at level 20. Find them in Institute vendors and probably carried by Institute synths as well. As well as giving you better damage, the advanced stuff always tracks as well, which is good because these are missiles, and if they're missiles, then they curve in towards targets, so this will work pretty well, I guess. Only problem is, if you want to change targets and you don't actually center the aim on something, it'll just fly to a different target. So potentially unresponsive, but it's going to make our shots slightly more accurate if we let the tracking do its business, which I feel like I'm inclined to do because these things... Don't have the fastest projectiles in the world. Righto, since we do have the tracking elements on this thing, we may as well use it on the in the great outdoors. So this is the automatic one. I've got one with a standard barrel and a scope, which we can lock onto from back here, which is neat. This one has the sniper barrel and a uh, night vision scope because I kind of like the model of this scope and wanted to show it off. Unfortunately. Well, it's not night time yet, but I've uh, sort of started a little bit later than I usually would. Hopefully there's enough daylight for you to see. 
And this is the version with the shotgun. And there it is. It's got a splitter barrel, and that's the standard iron sight there. It's just a little holographic nothing on the top of your gun there. It's barely glowing at all. Maybe this thing's low on battery. Anyways, what we'll do is uh, we'll lock on, and we're going to start shooting stuff. So we'll find something. We'll start shooting at him. Looks like we can get sniper knockdowns with this. Although it's probably worth it just to lock onto something and then just shoot it indiscriminately because kind of curve the bullets around the corner that worked there and uh this thing is currently unsuppressed right but if i'm all the way back here they couldn't possibly hear my gun right so i can manage to get decent sneak criticals that way and have to curve that right around didn't expect to be using an energy weapon of indirect fire here but there we are maybe we can need a bit of height on that we'll jump no, we don't have marsupial jumps. Okay, so... Not super effective if your targets are taking cover at all, which means if you're aiming at them and trying to kill them in cover, um, well, you're going to lock onto them and miss every time anyway. But if they're not in cover, you don't have to even be looking at them to kill them. I don't know if I like this system. I'm also noticing how I'm getting barely any damage at all. I'm going to go over to my automatic one. This one should be doing okay, but I feel like we're being sort of really pushed back here. And uh, these flanks aren't giving me the crits like XCOM does, so we'll just uh, hit that guy with a bunch of orbital strikes. Oh no, I've got the modern firearms mod on and I can hear them reloading from ages out. Hmm. I really thought I installed that fix, but that really irritates me. I hate listening to people reload. Like, come on, mate. Keep it to yourself. Alright, so probably a bit off more than I can chew here um, against these gunners. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to ro roll with this thing in bats a little bit just to see if we can uh, get some decent damage here. And looks like those are alien blaster projectiles and... That was a lousy crit of one bullet. That's better. I feel like that last burst was unnecessary. Speaking of XCOM, uh, Camille's in it. Well, she was in it for Operation Gatecrasher, but then she got uh, smashed through full cover from an Advent officer, so I guess that's fitting, right? Okay, we don't have the power to deal with this, so we'll just move on. Okay, I think at this point it's kind of clear that this thing is not an endgame weapon, although it's similar to a plasma gun it's nowhere bloody near because it's it just doesn't have a lot of damage and you know if you ain't first you're last i mean it's balanced for being a not a top tier weapon i guess but you know just leave something to be desired just leaves damage to be desired mostly we'll go some criticals here i don't even think we'll be able to kill this guy in time so i might just ignore him <laughs> yeah I'm not doing that. I'm not hitting that guy for 182 like that. And someone's launching missiles at me. Alright, that was bizarre. I don't know where those missiles come from. Yeah, 38 damage. Hello, buddy. Dressed up like a raider from the Capital Wasteland. Yeah, I'm not doing this. You can just stay there, mate, alright? I wonder if I can shoot him not even looking at him. I can as well. <laughs> That's neat. Um, I've drew I've brought his super mutant friends here, so uh ooh, I can't hit that. Penetrator perk doesn't even work with this thing. I'm gonna leave you alone. You can get eaten by a giant bear or something. This is all yours, scavenger. I believe in you. Well, that's it for you then. Yeah. Ooh, it fucking crashed. Righto, I think we'll finish off with a good old-fashioned ghoul slaughter, and maybe we'll get this rad scorpion over here. Let's 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 tickle him with this thing, and I've already turned it. I hit him. Oh, then he teleported on me. Thanks. I needed more Fallout 76 in this video, and now I'm going to bat you in the face. Take that and that, and go for a crit. Yeah. Uh, it looks like the Institute of a Habit of Making Impotent Weapons, which is... That, that poison's nasty. That's actually doing a lot of damage to me. 
Good on you, Mr. Red Scorpion. You actually uh, did a lot of damage there. Anyways, ghouls, here we go. And hello, uh, anyone? Looks like you can uh, disintegrate them. It's a nice touch. You always need that with energy guns. And we'll go for a bit of a gun foo streak here. We'll throw some criticals in there. We'll just keep hammering the space bar and we'll throw the criticals whenever we need them. Especially against that basic feral ghoul. Yeah. Turn you into an ash pile, mate. And this ghoul stalker, he gets one too. I'm completely blinded by that. That's cool. Thanks, uh, Grim Reaper Sprint. That'll make it helpful. And, uh, well, maybe we could have used legendary effects here. I feel like we needed them, but keep going. Keep going. So this feral ghoul, you get ash piled, and I'm gonna make these two ash piles as well. You see. All right, we might need an extra critical on that guy. Ooh, very very close there. This one though, he'll go down. No? Do I have a shot left? No, I don't. No, he gets ash piled. I think that was the last shot of the crit because it's a burst of three. And you, my friend. Just kidding, I'm not friends with any ghouls. Yuck. And a couple more, just to make sure of it. Could've used a shotgun in here. Here we go, we'll use it now. Well, I can't say that's my best performance aiming ever, but... The job is done. It took a lot longer than other weapons I've brought into this place, but can say the job is done. And look, I think that's about it for the Institute Pulse Carbine. And well, honestly, I didn't like it. It's just not strong enough. It's the projectiles not being hit scan. Just I can't, I don't want to deal with this. And the amount of AP it uses, I know it's like, it's like a penalty for tracking. You're going to give me this tracking barrel, but <laughs> no ability to use it in VATS, because, you know, that's probably something that it does that, you know, the vanilla plasma gun can't do better. You could potentially say that it is slightly more accurate, though, but I think I would just rather use just a standard vanilla plasma gun over this, which is a shame, because, you know, it's got this sleek, cool design. It's got a cool Institute paint, but, yeah, I don't see the appeal of it. It's a well-made weapon, but it's just not good enough. So I actually wouldn't recommend this. But if you'd like to see this weapon in your game, if you do like the look of the Covenant Carbine uh, retooled to make it look like an street weapon and give the Sims a little bit more of a weapon to shoot you with, then go right ahead. There's just... I don't know. I don't feel like there's a lot of reason for this mod to keep around. I just, just don't like it. Personal preference, not a fan, but you might like it, so highly recommend you download this if you feel like it's a good weapon, if you want to see it in your game. Thank you very much for watching.